Hello friends, I am back with one more of another video uh, which is a continuation of the pectoral region. Uh, so from today I am I would upload at least one video per day or two videos per day it depends upon the upon my work. So today uh, I am going to I mean I am going to upload one other video which is on uh, continuation of pectoral region. So we, we will basically come from superior to inferior. So like uh, in our dissection will mostly come superficial to deep. So superficially there will be skin. Right. Once you dissect uh, skin and remove the skin then what you really see is the superficial fascia which I would like to deal in present class. Right. This today's class is dedicated for purely superficial fascia. See just try to imagine everything which is present in your body so that it becomes easier, much easier than uh, uh, keep it thinking anatomy has the biggest burden. Because anatomy is the most easiest subject if you just learn it and visualize things which you see. So superficial fascia, uh, coming to superficial fascia here, uh, this is just seen whenever if you incise your skin. Uh, so fascia is something which separates two main structures. It's just a membrane to say. It's just a membrane which separates two structures. So this fascia, mainly it contains some amount of fat, which is moderate. And this fat is continuous with other regions too, not only the pectoral region, but in most of the regions where superficial fascia is seen, it contains some amount of fat. And in females, there will be development of mammary glands in the superficial fascia. This is the most important structure which we will learn tomorrow in our next class. Uh, so this superficial fascia, if you see, I would just like to draw a diagram. Because one diagram will answer lots of your questions. So this is the skin. And fascia has it contains basically uh, fat. Let us draw with yellow. So this is fat. Right. Right. This fat basically in females it contains uh, uh, this superficial fascia basically in, in females it contains breast. This fat again has some uh, fibrous septa. Uh, in the gland. So, in next class we will learn about uh, this memory gland where we will learn about the septa and the anatomy of the gland in detail. So, now first let us learn about the contents which are present in the superficial fascia. One are nerves. These are mainly cutaneous nerves. These are basically nerves which are cutaneous nerves and the second one include uh, cutaneous branches of arteries you know branches of internal thoracic and posterior intercostal artery third one is platysma which is a muscle and the fourth one is breast all these are the contents of superficial fascia superficial fascia what are the main contents are cutaneous nerves cutaneous branches of internal thoracic and posterior intercostal artery and platysma so let us learn about each and everything in detail. Breast we will deal it in, the, in our next class tomorrow. So I would like to discuss in detail about the three structures which I have mentioned right now here. So first one is, this is, let me label it. This is superficial fascia. 
just below the skin this one is skin right so first one so the first one is cutaneous nerves Uh, so all these what well, mean from now you will be you will listen lots of new names but trust me all these names will become so easy for you once you complete your uh, the whole anatomy so just try to remember those names as much as you can do so this is a person right this is the chest of the person so I would like to draw all the cutaneous nerves which would come in this region so first cutaneous nerves are so first uh, these are from the these are uh, about from they start from above the clavicle so these three nerves are called as supraclavicular nerves so let's label it with this so these three are supra clavicular nerves right uh, this is present medial so this is medial supra clavicular nerve this is present in the middle right so it is intermediate supra clavicular nerve this is present laterally so this is lateral supraclavicular nerve so i hope you know what is medial medial is just beside and lateral is away from the midline medial is just beside the midline or nearer to the midline whereas lateral is away from the midline okay i'll take that class too so that you will understand uh, these are the main three nerves which you which are one group which are which are medial intermediate and lateral supraclavicular nerve so these would supply the uh, upper half of the deltoid from the clavicle to the uh, to the second rib up to second rib so let me draw other diagram for it so that you will you can visualize it instead of for me saying it so this is the person right so this is the sternum midline and this is this fine so what does the supraclavicular nerve supply as i have said they supply the skin basically that to the upper half of deltoid deltoid will be here so it supplies upper part of the deltoid from the clavicle to the second rib so imagine that second rib is somewhere here so supplies like it so it supplies from clavicle to second rib so this is of supraclavicular nerves right so Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is supraclavicular nerves. Right? I think you got it. The next nerves are um, anterior and lateral cutaneous branches of second to sixth intercostal nerves. Each, I mean, there are intercostal nerves which are just present in between the ribs. So they are intercosta. Costa means rib. Inter means between. So these are intercostal nerves. So there are six of them. Sorry, there are mainly from the second to sixth intercostal space. They are present. So and they are anterior and lateral. Right. so all these are anterior cutaneous branches of intercostal nerves so these are t2 to t6 you know from second to sixth intercostal nerves we can say that t2 to t6 so these are anterior so these are lateral right the same lateral cutaneous 
branches of intercostal nerves right so there are pr primarily three one two three right so now if we divide it uh, so you can see this supplies the medial part this anterior cutaneous branch so this is like this and this supplies the lateral part which is like this right so this is due to anterior and this is due to lateral uh, fine these intercostal uh, nerves will supply uh, their respective pla places sorry sorry i just forgot i mean i'm just forgetting i'll just from from the next class i'll draw beside so that you will clearly understand it so there this is of two ways one is anterior which is supplies medial part and this is post i mean lateral which supplies the lateral part so uh, you can clearly see, yeah, I didn't say from where supraclavicular nerves came, right? These are C3 and C, C2 and C3. C3 and C4, sorry. What is this C2 and C, C3 and C4? C3 and C4 are, they, they, their primary branch is from the cervical nerve. Like cervical spinal nerves. How do they originate and all those you will learn in your next class. But you can see. I think you know, like cervical will be C1 to C8, thoracic will be C, uh, um, I mean T1 to T12. So if you see, this is supplied by supraclavicular nerve, which is C3 and C4. This is supplied by intercostal nerves, which are T2 to T6. If you see C4 and T2, in the middle we missed C5, C6, C7, C8, T1. So all those supply hand. It's really interesting to see. These will supply the hand. Right? So, if you come to the dermatome, you know dermatomal classification, each and every nerve, it is derived from some part of our spinal nerve. Right? So, we can classify our body into different uh, zones which are supplied by these nerves. So, it would be something like this. So, this is C3. Next comes C4, next comes T2, T3, T4, T5 and finally T6. And what happens to oh, C5, C6, C7, C8, T1? All these will go to the upper arm or upper limb. So, how they go and how they supply is what we will learn in our future coming classes. So, this is the dermatomal classification. So, these are the main cutaneous nerves and their uh, thing. It's like cutaneous nerves which are of mainly three types. I mean, uh, three types. One is supra supraclavicular nerves, other is medial, intermediate, late, medial and intermediate and lateral types. This supraclavicular nerve is divided into medial, intermediate and lateral types. Second one is anterior cutaneous branches of intercostal nerves. Third one is lateral cutaneous branches of intercostal nerves. The second I labeled here, but it is basically here. Anterior cutaneous branches of intercostal nerves. And this is lateral cutaneous branches of intercostal nerves. And this is the place that, we, that they supply. This is supplied by this blue part is by supraclavicular nerves. This is by anterior and lateral cutaneous branches of intercostal nerves. This is the dermatomal classification. These are the cutaneous nerves. So next let us learn about cutaneous arteries. Or cutaneous vessels basically. Vessels I swear. You will learn in detail whenever you read each vessel in detail clearly. Right. So these cutaneous vessels these are very small. You can't even uh, appreciate them that well. So these are basically the nerves which sub, with the vessels which supply the fascia and the breast and uh, many areas. So these here are mainly perforating 
branches of internal thoracic artery from now i said that artery has a right a and dot is artery so perforating branches of internal thoracic artery this supplies all cutaneous nerves mainly anterior cutaneous nerves right uh, the second third fourth branches of this internal thoracic artery it supplies breast which we will learn in our next class and the lateral cutaneous branches second one is lateral cutaneous branches of posterior intercostal arteries this supplies lateral cutaneous nerves right i think you got it it's like inter internal thoracic artery supplies anterior cutaneous nerve and lateral cutaneous uh, branches of posterior intercostal artery supplies post lateral cutaneous nerve so how we will draw the diagram here is basically like internal thoracic artery will be somewhere like this this will be mean internal it's uh, uh, below the rib cage but let, let, let me let, let us just uh, take that uh, later so that you will understand and it will supply in this way right and then the lateral cutaneous branches like posterior intercostal artery comes like this and this produces branches which supplies this so i swear i'll uh, draw this in a better way in your future classes so that you will understand in a better way so i will surely bring this thing later right so just right now just remember that all the arteries are supplied the arteries which are present in the cutaneous vessels are basically supplies the nerves and the fascia in between them so finally the la the third part and the last part which we will discuss right now is the platysma platysma is a thin broad sheet of muscle you know it's a muscle so uh, these this muscle covers pectoralis major muscle which you will learn later so first in the muscle you will learn about main things origin insertion and how it spreads so origin of this platysma is from deep fascia of pectoralis major muscle or okay uh, covering the pectoralis major muscle it's like uh, i'll just draw a diagram it's like it's a, it's it originates from deep fascia right and then insertion into the base of mandible and to skin over posterior and lower aspect of face so let me draw a diagram so right so muscle basically we draw with brown so uh, this is a um this and this is the mandible mandible is nothing but the chin cheek chin uh so yeah so if you could take it to the cross section so this is the skin which i would like to draw in brown this is skin 
right yeah and then this is a superficial fascia which i want to draw i would like to draw it in the back yeah superficial fascia and then before below the superficial fascia there will be deep fascia right this muscle arises from the deep fascia right similarly it arises from the deep fascia covering the pectoralis major muscle here there will be pectoralis major muscle so it arises from the pectoral uh, deep fascia covering the pectoral major muscle sorry sorry it's, it's like this yeah covering the pectoral major muscles and then it starts uh, it goes upwards like this and then it then crosses the clavicle and then it enters into the neck it then crosses the neck and then it is inserted into the base of the clavicle base of the mandible so this is the main extent of the pectoral muscle i mean clavicular muscle yeah right even if if here the pectoral major is there then it will right start from the pectoral major right so this is platysma so whenever you clench the skin you see a muscle I mean you saw wrinkles this is due to this muscle which is platysma on clenching uh wrinkles are due to platysma right uh this is the final one which i would like to explain uh tomorrow i'll explain you about the breast and the membrane gland tomorrow i'll try to go it a little faster uh because that is a really big topic it takes lots of time so superficial fascia in that you learned about the contents and then cutaneous nerves and then cutaneous vessels which are present